Hi everybody, this is Coach International Master Roderick Nava and today's video, we're going to analyze the game between Fabiano Caruana and Super Grandmaster Bogdan of Romania. Uh, in this round number 4 fight, in the ongoing Super Betches Classic. Okay, so at the end part of the video, I will show you the standing. Fabiano Caruana played D4, Bogdan played Knight F6, C4, E6, and we have the Nimso Injan battle on the board. Now, E3, so classical approach, castles, then A3, immediate neutralization to the bishop, then Bogdan captured the knight, then c5. So obviously, one of the best ingredients of Nimzo Injan is to give tension or pressure on the d4. Now, bishop d3 developed, knight c6, rook b1, another interesting move by Fabi. Rook b1 um, to pressure the b pawn. And uh, yeah, interesting because he prefers to develop the queen side first rather than the king side. So let us see. Now, d6. Knight e2, e5. Okay, so Bogdan intends to react on d4. So, but uh, Fabi ignores it with castles. Now, rook e8, f3. Okay, to protect the coming e4. And this f3 was the novelty of this game. Okay, because according to the book, bishop c2 was played as recorded. Okay, so let's go back with the novelty. Now, b6. Very simple but logical approach. Black intends to play bishop a6, then followed with knight a5 to attack the weak c4 pawn. Alright, then Fabi played e4. Now, uh, Bogdan took the d4. Takes, takes, then bishop g5. Okay, white has the bishop pair. And the d4 seems very weak. Rook e5 to attack immediately, but uh, simply bishop h4 to maintain the pin. Now queen e7, then bishop e2, and uh, white intends to capture the d4. Now rook a5 to have some counterplay, but rook b3 first to protect it. Then followed with queen takes d4, but uh, bishop a6, now queen takes d4, and queen e5 offers the queen to queen. Now rook d1, good move by Fabi, of course, and uh, to pressure the d6 at the same time. Now, Bogdan took the queen, rook takes d4, and knight e8 to protect the weak pawn. Now, bishop e1 to attack the rook. Rook c5, bishop b4, rook c6, and f4. Okay? So, gradual development of the center. And uh, the best plan for white here is to activate the king via king f2 and king e3. Alright. Now, rook c8, pile up on the c file. So, uh, to attack the c4. Now, uh, rook c3 to protect it. And rook c7, king f2, h5, sacrifice pawn. So, if white captures the pawn, then the pawn on c4 will fall. Okay? So, h3, so waiting move. g6 to protect the h5. Then a4, rook c8. Okay? While Bogdan is waiting for the white's plan. So, what is white going to do in this position? So, king e3, bishop b7, f5 okay to destroy to weaken the king side now okay all right uh, bogdan took the pawn but uh, uh stockfish declared it as a bad move better was king h7 okay to protect the pawn and the continuation is rook c1 okay so it's a long journey but uh it guarantees the slightly better for white Okay, so let's go back with the G takes F5, E takes F5, then Bogdan played Knight F6, King F4, look at the Super King, very active indeed. Now, D5, okay, D5, so obviously cannot capture the pawn because of the pin, and alright, in this position, can you guess the simple but Brilliant move by Fabiano Caruana. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to analyze the position. After that, I will show you the brilliant move. Start. Thank you so much for your effort. And this is the brilliant move. Bishop e7. Very simple. So to capture the knight, later on, then bishop f3 to attack the pawn d5. And now, rook e8, mm -hmm. rook e8, rook e3. And I'm just wondering in this position, Bogdan resigns the game. Why? 
Let us see one by one. For example, if black captures the pawn on c4, then simply capture the knight. Ah, okay. Rook takes e3. Then we have a very strong attack on the back rank. Machas. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, okay. Another move. What if knight d7? Then simply c takes d5. Okay, and uh, let's say uh, rook c1, bishop b5. Ah, there's a lot of coming strong attack. Pin. So if rook c7, then we have d6. Yeah, okay. Very clear. So what else? Obviously, if king g7, we have bishop takes knight, then uh, get the rook. So uh, what else? Is there anything else? What if bishop c8? Then c takes d5. Yeah. Okay. So, where can you put the rook that gives protection to the knight? So, I think there's no option. Okay. So, meaning after rook e3, the position is in sugswang for black. Okay. Last one. What if king h7? Then c takes d5. Very sad. Attacking the rook who gives protection for the knight. All right. So that's all. Very nice uh, one game by Fabiano Caruana. And let us see the standing after round number four. Fabiano Caruana is the leading after round number four with three points. Pragnananda, Gukes, 2.5 points. MVL, Nepo, Wesley, and Firuja with two points. Nodirbek Abdul Satorov and Anishgiri with 1.5 points. And the least... Bogdan Daniel with one point. So, this is our report after round number four of the ongoing Super Bet Classic. And we're going to wait for the round number five hot battles. And this is your coach. I will give you the analysis. Very simple and quick so that uh, we can study the game and to get the nutrients so that our chess will improve. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.